Iranian influencer faces death penalty for illegal gambling sites. Milad Hatami, a famous Instagram influencer from Iran, has since has been indicted for allegedly running an online gambling operation. Such a charge carries the death penalty in the country. He urged his 4 million followers that a glamorous life similar to his own could be achieved by gambling. His profile had numerous posts on exotic cars and other such luxuries, enticing many to gamble their money on this, in the schemes he promoted. The Islamic government of Iran accused him of making illegal profits in money laundering. Hatami was arrested in Turkey and deported back to Iran last March. The Iranian Judiciary's Media Center released a statement accusing Hatami of corruption on earth through widespread abuse and distribution of the country's monetary and currency system, amounting to a minimum to no more than half a million U.S. dollars. The charge of quote-unquote spreading corruption on earth draws from Islamic scripture and is broadly defined is, and is a broadly defined crime capable of encompassing anything deemed undesirable by the Iranian regime. Branch 15, the Branch 15 of Tehran's General and Revolutionary Court was referred for this case. So I thought I was, I actually was shocked to learn that gambling is punishable by death in Iran. I didn't know this. I didn't know this either, actually. I just know it was, I just knew it was illegal. By the way, the Quranic verse that tells you, so this line in the Iran law, spreading corruption on earth, specifically, as Susanna mentioned, refers to a specific verse in the Quran that doesn't clarify what it means to spread corruption on earth, okay? And also in the Quran, in Quran the punishment for that is to have your hands and feet cut off, like the opposite hand and feet cut off, and then get crucified. So I don't know why they like... Oh my God. Yeah, that's that's specifically the verse after the verse that Obama cited Obama cited in Congress to show how peaceful Islam is. So the, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, a, yeah. there's a verse in the Quran that tells you that killing a man is like killing all mankind. So people are like, oh my God, Islam so peaceful. Islam so peaceful. And Obama like, look, this is the religion of religion peace. of peace confirmed. <laughs> confirmed okay and the thing is that they don't they're not reading it in context because that verse if you read it in full is telling you that allah told bani israel which means the jews that this is that killing one man is like killing all mankind so, so specifically this was an order for that group of people at that time not for it's not it was not a general rule because the verse after tells you what the new standards are the verse after tells you that whoever is spreading corruption on earth Cut off their hands and opposite hands and feet. By the way, you, apparently you're supposed to cut off the opposite because that puts them out of balance. I don't know. It makes it their lives more, or like actually, or or crucify them. I don't know why. Why would you wouldn't put them out of balance? But given that they're gonna die, so I would do the crucifixion. It's just more uh, cruelty, you know that yeah. that good old cruelty, really. Yeah. Um, but anyways, so but they don't do crucifixion in Iran. They do they do hanging. They which is actually. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, anyways. Um, so this was his life. Look at this. He had a Lambo in Turkey and all this money with his wife and the baby. Oh, poor baby now. And now, like, why is Turkey doing this? Like, tur the Turkey not like they they sent him back to Iran. Ar he was extradited by Interpol. By Interpol. Interpol, like knowing that he's this is the death that, that he could have death penalty. I don't think it's known at the. I I, I do not know that if it was known at the time that because, like I said, he was charged under very broad aspects of the penal code. Okay, like so I, I wouldn't it, I wouldn't it, assume that they knew at the time that he would be faced with death. Okay, okay, this is like Interpol has been doing the Islamic Republic bidding for a while. Like, there's a history of that. Okay. Uh oh. So, like, I don't know why Iran is still taken seriously when they make an official complaint, like file, file, a, file something on the Interpol. The Interpol recognize this as legitimate and they arrest people and they send them back to Iran. Like, mm -hmm. the, like the, the, the Islamic Republic should not have that authority to be able to use Interpol in that way. Like, I don't know why they still do that. There's like a whole bunch of cases. I remember watching a, like a breakdown of 
all the ways that the, the Iranian regime has used Interpol uh, for their for enforcing, you know, no, um, their terror globally. No blasphemy laws, and also for enforcing anti-regime, um, you know, sp spoke people, uh, you know, like people that they want to like. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. Like the Interpol is just becoming sometimes becoming an arm of the Islamic regime, which is not good. Um, by the way, I, I don't endorse what these people do. You know, I mean, this is like these people are a lot of them. I know there's a lot of them in Turkey. The, um, a lot of Iranians in Turkey that have sites like these, and they rob people of their money. Like they are, a lot of them are very, very scummy. Okay, but they don't deserve the death penalty, obviously. Yeah, exactly. But they, they must be. But they, Susie, I've seen the videos. These Iranians who like run gambling sites targeted in Iran that live in Turkey, and they, they live large. They have, they have. I don't know. Maybe actually, I don't know if their if their lifestyle that they portray is exactly their actual lifestyle yeah i'm but, skeptical what's but, really I, interesting yeah. is um th this is so this these charges of frauds defrauding or these gambling schemes have been levied against a number of iranian influencers outside of iran who have also been hit with red notice letters directed towards interpol like there was the really famous iranian rapper amir uh Tatalu, who uh, was hit with these charges Although it, like he was supposed to be extradited back like last year or something, and I don't know if it's actually gone through. Um, but so what? That that raises a question for me: How much of this is legit, and then how much of it is just them trying to throw things at influencers abroad who they can't control? Yeah, I mean, I mean, these people uh, want. I mean, they do rob a lot of people's money. Like sometimes. These gambling websites actually drain your bank account because you just click on something by mistake. Oh There's God. a lot of that. I don't know. But also they are they, the regime doesn't like them because they make it seem like everything is so amazing outside of Iran's borders. Like look at the lifestyle that they have. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is so scummy. Look, look at they're using their baby to show how much, you know, like look at their family to put all this in the money bed of in the cash. Place. It's pretty the, yeah, it's it's, it's pretty gaudy. Children, this yeah. is what we call nouveau riche. This is okay, nouveau right. riche behavior. <laughs> By the way, this I don't is, know actually this is this is new money. Old money doesn't act like this. Also, you know what? Like I don't even know if they can afford like Lambos are so this is Lambo, right? Yes. They're not, they're so expensive, okay? They're so expensive. I don't even, I don't think they can afford a Lambo because I remember we managed to like rent a Lambo for not that much money for like an hour. Like it's actually pretty cheap to let, rent a one for an hour, mm -hmm. right? So these people could just be full of it. Like they could have oh, like totally. not that much, they could just rent a Lambo for like an hour and take pictures with it and like, look, I own a Lambo. Like look at that, you know. I, we rented a Lambo in Paris. It wasn't that expensive. Wow. So you could act like you're living like major, like you, you could act like you're very, very rich by just doing something like that. I don't know. So anyways, by the way, Turkey is not safe uh, for Iranians at all anymore because it used okay. to be a place where a lot of anti-regime people go, but now Iran um, has its reach. But, by the way, Tur like why the is it? The tentacles are yeah, the tentacles are real. There's a whole bunch of... Uh, Iranians were arrested recently in Turkey by the by the Turkish government um, because they were they were there to kill Israeli citizens mm -hmm. in retaliation of Tur uh, um, is Israel's espionage, you know, on Iranian soil. Like Ir Israel has been very successful in taking out um, Iranian. Um, officials inside of iran and also cause a lot of chaos and mess and taking out iranian dr drone sites and nuclear sites but in iran and iran has been very inequipped to deal with that so they try to take out israeli citizens outside of israel mainly in turkey because that's what they have most of their tentacles are so this is making a lot of iranians in who live in turkey very very nervous especially like, as refugees yeah especially as refugees, there's millions yeah. of them there yeah, a lot of them are like, how can I get out of Turkey? Because like, they, a lot of them managed to become 
refugees in Turkey, but they can't, they want to like go to Europe, but it's much harder to do. So they're stuck in Turkey and they think like they're sitting ducks for the Iranian regime. They're like, they're, like by the way, a lot of, a lot of other gambling site um, managers must be like really, you know, scared shitless right now because mm -hmm. of this new story. Yeah, but it can't be fun. Anyways. I, so we were talking about how he was charged, you know, under corruption on Earth. But Imran is bringing up the good point. What charges do they have for lunar or Martian corruption then? Oh, that's a good point. By the way, that... Uh, I, I, if I, he was I, doing I, this in space, they wouldn't have been able to throw this at him. They would. Yeah, you're right. Because it's not on... Yeah. But actually, that actually reminds me because I wanted to add something, okay? This... Um, this spreading corruption on earth phrase in the Quran and it has been used by a lot of Muslim reformists to be like, this is this verse has been taken out of context. Spreading corruption on earth means like the most heinous crimes. Like you have to be, you have to commit genocide or something for this verse to apply to you. Okay. And my comeback to that is like, well, it doesn't say, does it? It doesn't say like your God at best is irresponsible. Okay. Maybe he's like, guys, ISIS, stop. I didn't mean to crucify just random people for just like minor crimes. I was talking about genocide. I was talking about rape. I was talking about the worst of all people. I like a God who wrote the God who wrote the Quran must have realized that this is not clear. Like you could, you could see like, um, laws of countries today. They're a lot more clear about like, okay, there's a punishment and there's a crime and the crime hasn't been defined yet. Do doesn't God know that this is going to cause problems? Doesn't God know that this is going to cause issues? Anyways, it's just like, so it is. if God is not evil, he's just um, has bad writing skills. That's the best thing you can say about it. Um, irresponsible God. Oh, Israel is the next story, hey? Eh? Bread of Life is saying, yes, I have a friend whose dad was abducted from Turkey and killed by the Iranian gov government. And what? This other commenter, Wait, Turkey submits people to countries having capital punishments and they want to enter the EU? Yes. Well, they don't want any more, but... Yeah, I think they they've should. given up on that, that dream. Maybe they realize that they don't belong there. <laughs> like, like, <okay. laughs> like, come on. Who are we Nikita? kidding? Who are we kidding? Like, look at a human rights record. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below